Hey guys, thanks for joining. I'm Arthur and you're watching Dirt Hammers Off-Road Media. Today I'm excited to bring to you uh, a quick little unboxing video of the Yukon gear set that I purchased for my Jeep. This is probably one of the most exciting uh, upgrades that I'm going to do to the Jeep, uh, mainly because it's going to, of course, restore some of the power loss from running the 35-inch tires. Uh, it's going to add some trail capabilities in four high and four low, so this is a... Um, really exciting uh, modification I'm gonna get done to the Jeep and um, you know not to mention some of our rides we're not always riding back roads sometimes we need to hop on the interstate um, and drive for an hour and a half two hours or whatever to get somewhere and um, this gear set's gonna allow us to do that easily and hopefully um, maybe improve some gas mileage and just overall performance so I'm excited to get this installed but this is the Yukon gear set uh, 456 gears and the part number is YGK012 and that would be a, a 456 gears for a non Rubicon. This is for a Dana 44 rear and for a Dana 30 front. Okay, So stick around. I'm going to show you what comes in the rebuild kit. We have ring and pinion gears and we have master rebuild uh, parts as well. So stick around. Let's dive into these boxes and see what comes with it. Okay, so the first box we're going to open, we're going to open up the uh, Dana 30 front uh, pinion and ring gear set. Let's see. Styrofoam packaging. Pinion gear here, 456. got the ring gear as well. These look to be received in really good condition so I mean the styrofoam packaging and everything those look good. Okay so let's set that aside. Next is going to be the Dana 30 uh, this is the Dana 30 uh, Front Master Rebuild Kit. So let's see what we have in it. And uh, let's pull this up. I'm not going to take all this out of the vacuum form packaging at the moment. I'm going to let the uh, shop that's going to do the install worry about that. But in this kit, crush sleeves, we've got new uh, bearings, uh, we've got shims, we've got new bolts, uh, axle seals. There's also a differential cover gasket. We know the Jeeps use um, um, ATV silicone. Also, some installation instructions, which we won't be doing this ourselves, just for the fact we don't have um, some of the proper service tools to do it ourselves. So, better let a professional do it so we can make sure it's done right. Uh, but gear marking compound and all that stuff's included in the gear set. And I would expect this box to be the same. This is the uh, rear uh, Dana 44 kit. Again, everything is nicely uh, vacuum form packaged. Uh, new bolts for the ring gear, crush sleeves, shims, all new bearings, seals, axle seals. You got your marking compound and brush and a gasket. And last, this will look just like the uh, uh, this will look just like the Dana 30, but this is the uh, Dana 44 rear ring and pinion. My repair shop guy is going to really appreciate me opening all this stuff. I'm sure. Oh, this one's a little heavier. Obviously, a larger gear set. Oh yeah. That's a hefty looking pinion gear for a Dana 44. And the big ring gear. So everything's packaged really nice, so everything should be received uh, undamaged. Um, put all this back in. Okay guys, so that is a quick uh, little video to show you what comes in. 
The uh, part number for Yukon is YGK012. And that's the 456 gears for a Jeep Wrangler with a Dana 30 up front and a Dana 44 in the rear. I'll leave some part numbers and some additional information down in the description below because uh, you may not need a complete rebuild kit. You may just want to do ring and pinion. I'll leave the part numbers for the front and rear ring and pinion only. And then I'll leave the part numbers for the master rebuild kits as well. Um, and also again, I'll put the part number uh, for the whole master kit uh, in the description below. But uh, again, I'm really excited to get this installed in the Jeep. I also have a new little um, item I'm gonna do when I go to get the re-gear done. And uh, we're gonna be putting lockers in the Jeep front and back to really increase its capability. But that'll be another video. Uh, but again, thank you for joining. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please list those below and I'll be uh, happy to answer them for you. Thanks.